Hey, hello there, I'm Alger Hill and welcome back to some Northguard. I'll be playing a new game of Northguard, this time with a different goal in mind entirely. And I'm going to play it on damn hard difficulty. I clicked the wrong button. There we go. We're going to play on a medium-sized map with three other AI players, of course. And we're going to try and get a fame victory as quick as is reasonably possible. But we shall see. And I'm going to do this, I'm going to play the Clan of the Stag. They're proud of their legacy of astonishing achievements. They're renowned as much as honorable and regal manners. Their harsh justice and unyielding strength. Wealth and fame. You start with extra resources, food, wooden crowns, and the Hall of Scholars replaces the brewery and actually makes you fame. So that's super cool. You also get supplies that gain, uh, when you get 200 fame, you get extra resources, a nice bonus influx of resources in 10 stone. And then when you get to the next one, you get an additional 10% production bonus. In other words, it's all about building house scalds to get continuous fame. The other possibility would be maybe to do uh, Clan of the Goat, because feasting increases the production bonus of your feasts. But that's kind of crap. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go to Clan of Stag and get a fame bonus. We're going to become the king. We're going to earn kingdom. Let's do it. Clan of the Stags, my friend. Clan of the Stags. In the last game, we kicked ass as the military guys, except we didn't actually do military. We forged Odin's sword. It was really goddamn easy. Okay, so we start straight away with a coast, which is awesome. I'm going to start getting a scout and a wood. Let's do it. Let's do it. So straight away, scout camp. And woodcutter's lodge. Beautiful. We start with a huge number of resources, which is awesome. That's going to be great. So with a stag. Amazing. So you want to hit that fame bonus as soon as possible. Oh, I hit, went to the wrong one. It's okay. We send a scout. And we'll make it in 38 days. He's exploring very great, very gradually. I think we're a little bit faster and better at this game now, so we're going to be a little bit smarter about it all. Okay. You guys gather some food. It's going to be a good idea to keep getting some food. And then we have a new area, and it is ruins. Which has a wolf and some sheep. Fuck. That's annoying. Because it means I have to build a war camp very soon. But it's got some sheep as well, so that's kind of cool. So we can just kind of build another woodcutter's lodge in there. Or something like that. But I mean, the next thing I want to do over here is where we'll build our um, our raiding machines. We are going to need some more houses as well, however. So we have a shipwreck. Ooh. It's a very basic area. No real food just yet. A little bit annoying. Oh, man. Become a warrior. Yes, I know how to attack. Leave me alone. Alright. Alright, scouty scout. Go go scavenge that shipwreck. Oh, yes! Food! Fertile land! Good, 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 good. Very lucky. Well, yeah, lucky-ish. Good stuff. Amazing! Let's get some fields up in here. Off you go. Make me a new villager so we don't starve to death, please. Boy. Yes. Having sheep also helps us with our firewood consumption in the winter. Good shit. Keep going, Scouty. Keep going. Loving it. So what is the Altar of Kings? Get a fame victory. We need the Altar of Kings. Uh, 300 wood, 300 monies, and 10 stone. And it also gives you 50 fame, so you want that as soon as possible, really. Because it gives you a shit ton of production. Oh my god, that's a bear. Fuck's sake. Alright, make some food. I can't build a silo just yet. Ah, it's too much. Get some food up in there. Let's go. 
New dudes coming soon, which is great. There we are. Really need to get some more woodcutters, but we also need to build up a stockpile of food. Ah, uh, no, you know, it's... Uh, I'm not sure if we need the wood more than we need food. No, we do need the wood because otherwise we won't be able to build anything. Where's our scout? Oh, he's over there. Fuck. 200 wood and 100 crowns. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you should definitely go become a villager then. Fantastic. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. Look at that. Eight food. Beautiful. Okay. Hurry up now. So we're also going to start, when we have a couple extra people, we'll build some, uh, the raiding machine. Actually, no, we have the wood. We can do that right now. Let's do that. So the longship dock to loot. To loot. Crowns of Hammer lore. Right there. That looks good. We're gathering lots of stuff for our, our peoples. Which is good. Six food. That's alright. That's fine. I think the thing is you have to temper your expansion because you need the food. You need to make sure you're not wasting time. Because you desperately need to be producing food constantly. The ducats, though, are really good. It might also be a good shout to build a trading post. Because we have a lot of money now. We do have a lot of money. Alright. Game plus two uh, crowns production. Weaponsmith. Don't really need about Weaponsmith right now, but a sharp. This is annoying because this has got a bear in it, so we're not actually going to be able to take anything. There we go. Long shipped up is complete. So you can start making us some lore first, and then we'll start making fame. No, we'll start making fame now because I want to work towards it. We don't have the people for that just yet, though, because it's going to be winter really soon. So, it's got a brown bear. Shit. Oh, okay, this might, this might be good first as well. We're going to want to grab this as well. Got some sheep. Got some sheep up in here. Losing a bit of money, but that's okay. This is basically going to be the money area. If you have at least one sheep in area, we'll reduce the need for firewood by 20%. Alright. Or we can slaughter it and get 30, 80, 80 food. Wow. That's pretty good. Uh, let's keep making stuff. Let's make a marketplace. We're going to continue to gather some food. We are now out of space, however. We're going to definitely want to build a house. Problem is, we're a little bit low on food. This is good, though. This is exactly what we needed. Ah, fertile land. Where's our scout gun? Go explore the ruins. Nice. And it's a rune stone as well. Oh, and normal stone. Fucking amazing. It's got two Draugr, though, so we're going to have to do this really carefully. We're going to have to do it uh, when the winter ends, in the next year. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, gather as much food as possible, please. <laughs> All right, there we go. Sharp Axes, Weaponsmith. Let's get Sharp Axes. There we go, earn a bit of crowns. So now we can make a little bit more wood. I love that sheep are a selectable unit. This is definitely a priority. Stone, wheat, and runes? Oh my god. Please. So good. Ah, we gotta be careful. Playing a little bit smarter this time around. This time, anyway. Merchants gathering a bit of crowns. This way we can build extra food resources if necessary. 
Problem is, I need the troops, but I need the. F Can we buy food? Actually, is there food available? There is. So we could actually spend a lot of crowns on this. We don't really need any right now. That's pretty good. Because then we could buy a warrior. Problem is, is, these guys are 10 and 50. And my warriors are 10 and 50. So unless we stack up on them really, really fast, we're going to die. And also, it's winter. So, it doesn't really help us. So we currently have uh, villagers producing 13 food. For five villagers producing 13 food. Ah, oh, 100 crowns and 50 lore. Nice. Amazing. To be honest, it doesn't really matter. The lack of food is not that big a deal. Oops. You guys gotta become sailors. Start your raid! Yeah, oh, okay, we make four, we wanna make four crowns now. Amazing. Uh, we are losing a lot of food, but that's okay. We are gonna desperately need a lot of stuff. We're losing a bit of wood, uh, which we're gonna need to catch up on. Once the short winter here is over, we will move over here to kill the drought. We'll build an extra couple dudes and build a drought and get rid of these guys. If I actually think it might be a good idea, would be a healer's hut. Because at the moment, not having a healer is very problematic for us. This guy is a bit too weak. Oh, look at that. So they're, bring, they're very gradually bringing us back fame. Very gradually. Oh, shit. Shit. That's bad. Oh my god. Gotta go weaponsmith to survive this. Fuck! Get him! Mess him up! Oh, we did it. Oh boy. That could have been close. It's almost the end of winter as well. Please become a healer. Where's our scout? What's he doing? Just exploring over here. Cool. Over here is Draugr Tombs. Yep. That's great. That's 50 fame over there. Looks like we're in a very little corner of the world, which is great. We found the Yggdrasil tree. Colonists the heir to become protector of Northgard and achieve victory. That doesn't sound so hard. That sounds really easy. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to achieve it through fame. These guys are very gradually <laughs> going to be healed. Oh, Ran, how have they already reached Thane? What's happening here? Alright. We don't have five iron, so I can't... Oh, you know what I could do? I could actually hire a war chief if I, get five, if I buy five iron. But then I need a hundred thingies. Lack of wood is murdering me. It's because it's high population we've got. We're making people though, so that's good. Oh, these butt munches. So difficult to deal with. Okay, so the healer is healing things gradually. These guys have no workers. Yeah, well. I don't know why I even need one there. We're getting money from sailors, so that's good. So soon we'll be able to, once we hit 150, we'll be able to hire a war chief, which is great. 
Damn it. Uh, if I can just get to Thane, I can get a whole bunch of resources. I need to colonize this. I'll never get enough food, because for some reason, everyone's starving to death. Damn it. God, if I could just get a hundred monies. You know what, actually, we do get 50 fame from this. So maybe we should kill it now. So we can actually get this, and then we get 50 fame. Oh, no, I have to colonize the area first. Fuck. Ah! Okay, we're gonna also need to get the, um... Where is it? It's the beer. We need beer. Give me beer. Where's the beer? Hall of Skulls. Honestly, we're never gonna we're never gonna get the money quick enough. So we just we just need to meet him to heal this guy's quicker. There we go, that heals it much faster. And then we can go take that, and then we can get the fields. Oh, it's already June, though! Come on, hurry up. Ah, oh, they're already producing it. Why did I even do that? Oh my god, the reduced production! Because of the unhappiness. Build that damn thing faster! Oh god! It'll also give us extra fame. We need to head over here too so we can get that farm. Some more bear and iron. God, this place has got a really weird, like, map turning. Alright, very gradually it's being healed. Right, there we go. And how much do we get from the Hollow Scalds? Not, not much, it seems. But okay. At least now we're happy. Er. There we go. Alright, go become a dude. Go become a normal dude. So you can try and get a little bit better food. Oh, man. You go back to be a dude. Kill that dragger. We have the plus two, so we should be able to kill them. We're going to need to kill a sheep. And then we're also going to need to buy food. Off we go. Oh no! Okay, we have to just keep making new dudes because we just do not have enough of anything. Okay, Skulls are making a very small amount, gradually. Alright, Woodcutter, you're gonna have to come become a villager. Alright, there we go. Get over there. So now you're gonna need to make another field. Oh, Jesus. New lore, good. Some militia, mining, no, fur coats. No, trading, colonization. Ah, oh, I should have gotten colonization. Damn it. That would have been good. Maybe we will need militia, because there's going to be some awful monsters coming soon. Oh, no. It's just the one. It's just the one. Everything's going to be okay. We're going to build up a stockpile. I'm aware we need more houses. We don't have any houses. Shut up. Come 
Come on. Ah, uh, farmers, good. Yes, please, heal that warrior. So I got someone one dragger, so we should be okay. Okay, so we are now at least building up a bit of a better food supply. Very gradually. Very gradually indeed. Once we get to 100 wood, then we can start to uh, improve the fields. Ah, oh, there's stone here too. That'd be good. We don't have enough people. Or food. We don't have anything. Maybe I shouldn't have sent two sailors out. How did they get Thane so fast? That's what I understand. How in the shit did they get Thane so quickly? Like, what is that? Once we get 100, we could hire a Berserker, so that'll be good. That's it. Keep building up stockpiles. That's it. Good stuff. Yay, they're helping. You will very gradually heal them. Good stuff. So we could improve tools, but we don't want to do that. Oh, God. This is hard. Hard difficulty is hard, guys. I know, it's surprising, isn't it? I don't know how I'm going to be able to afford food. With the winter coming and everything. Because I got no fish. How is there no fish? Oh, man. We can build a food silo. That's something. Oh my god. Minus nine? Are you for real? I don't know what to do about this. We're going to starve to death. There's nothing to do. We're going to starve. Winter is very short, so that's helpful, but... Oh god, the firewood! Everyone is not incredibly useful. Help. Merchant, we don't need you right now. Do you make money? No. Go become a woodcutter. Uh. Stop the raids. Okay, we're making wood. Alright, I'll go back to starting the raids. Go become a villager and try and keep us alive. Oh, the upkeep is still too high. Upkeep is still too high. Our scout died while exploring a new area. Son of a bitch. You were the chosen one. How do I even get up here? How do I even get up here? I oh, there it is. We have to go into this bit first. Wow, it's like a whole little private area. We have no food. Why? There's no food! <laughs> ah! Alright guys, do be sure to check out the other series on my channel as well as do also leave me a like and a comment in the video. Uh, subscribe to me on Patreon, it's really helpful, help support the channel. And I was Aldred, I'll continue to be in this been some Northguard. Getting a little bit wrecked, but we'll survive. Bye bye.